There's a push for a new law to combat anti-Semitism in North Carolina. But one rabbi says the state could go much further to confront hatred against many more people. Capitol reporter Michael Highland is live for us in Raleigh with this story. And Michael, this is expected to be a key issue during this year's legislative session. Right. House Speaker Tim Moore says he wants to respond to this rise in anti-Semitism that we've seen, especially over these last few months. But Democrats have been pushing for a broader hate crime bill for the last several years that has not gotten a hearing. Since the attack on Israel on October 7th, there's been a spike in anti-Semitic incidents here in the U.S. The Anti-Defamation League reported a 360 percent increase in the three months after the attack. North Carolina's Republican House Speaker Tim Moore says it's on his agenda to address it during the session that starts in April. I want to see us pass the legislation to really crack down on anti-Semitism to define that as a hate crime. A bill filed last year would do just that and provide protections from discrimination in housing and employment. Rabbi Eric Solomon at Beth Meyer Synagogue in Raleigh says it's needed. There have been wholesale anti-Semitic attacks against the Jewish community, um, threats of violence, We've had bomb threats at my own synagogue here. But Rabbi Solomon says the state should go much further, confronting hatred against Muslims, the LGBTQ community, and other groups. Hatred has no political alliance. Uh, it, it is, sadly, it's hatred across the border. Democratic Senator Jay Chaudhary has filed a hate crime bill for the last few sessions, but it's gone nowhere. In addition to covering more people and increasing punishments, it would require the state to collect data and improve training for law enforcement. We've also seen a real increase in hate crime since 2016, and I hope there's an opportunity to uh, look at other ways to combat hate crimes um, for, for other groups. And that anti-Semitism bill also was never taken up when it was in the filed in the Senate last year. Speaker Moore says if the Senate does not take it up this time, that the House would pass its own version. Rod and Angela. And Michael, why haven't those bills moved forward in the past? I have asked Senator Phil Berger about this. He's the Republican leader in the Senate about this issue as these bills have come up over the years dealing with this hate crime uh, issue. And one thing that he has told me in the past is that he's made the point about that people commit crimes for various reasons, he says, and that a person's race or religion does not necessarily affect the extent of the injuries that they experience as a victim. And he said that people should not experience lesser sentences just because a crime is committed by them of the same race. So he has not expressed any support for moving forward with the hate crime legislation before. Very interesting. All right, Michael Hyland, live for us. Thank you.